Hey there, this is Donna at Pequest Valley Art, and you're watching Paint This. Hello. For today's project, we are going to paint uh, in the one-stroke technique, and we are going to paint a cross. We're not going to actually paint this wooden cross. This cross, I took the liberty of tracing uh, before I came on so as not to bore you with that. This wooden cross I just bought at Dollar Tree. Uh, you can paint this as well if you want, but we are going to paint on 12 by 12 inch cardstock today. It came out of this pad. It's got beautiful paper in it. I got it at Michael's. It's, it's nice to paint on, especially with the one stroke. So the first thing I'm going to do is paint the background of the cross, and I'm going to take a flat brush, a three quarter inch flat brush. And I'll tell you the colors as I go along. I'm using Folk Art One Stroke Paint today, multi-surface. And I have um, brown. So I'm going to take some of the brown on my brush and a little bit of white. And I'm just going to fill in. I'm going to fill in the cross. I'm not doing any specific uh, stroke at this time. I'm just sort of filling it in. I mixed a little bit of white in with the brown. But I just want to get some coverage. Again, just a little bit of brown with the white. Now, if this brush feels too big to you, uh, you can use whatever one you're comfortable with. We sort of paint in the direction of of the uh, the way that the I want the wood to look. Or what's supposed to be wood. These come out really nice. I've sold a ton of these. Um, they're nice to frame, give as gifts, or just hang in your house. I hope everybody had a nice Christmas. It was very quiet with my family this year. Uh, my sister and her daughter both have COVID. And uh, I think my sister's over it. She went back to work today. Pick up some more brown paint. I'm going to turn my project a little bit. And some of this is going to be covered with flowers. Okay, so I kind of pulled everything toward the middle, and now I'm going to pull everything downward. I'm not doing any fancy strokes, and I'm letting the colors blend on their own. I kind of like the darker color on the edges, but that's up to you, however you would like to do it. I'm going for a, a wood look here. I'm 
And again, I'm just pulling upward, letting the paint blend by itself, picking up little bits of white in with the brown. I'm always looking at the at the outside edge of my brush to get my shape correct. Okay, and you don't want these little cut marks like you see here. So what you do is you just go around to the edge and pull and then lift so that you don't you don't get any of those marks, okay? All right, for now, that is going to do. So I'm going to let that dry. Well, now, you know what? Now, if you want, you can add little bits of black. I'm going to take a two-inch script liner to show you. I'm going to wet it. I'm going to pick up some uh, licorice black. And if you want, you can pull little little lines up into this so it looks kind of like wood grain you don't have to and you can mix this with the brown and the white whatever you like all right but i'm going to just pull little bits of it up like this and if you want to go outward you can do that as well like i said some of this is going to get covered uh, i'm going to do uh, probably do roses that's what i like roses look really pretty on here Okay, and you just want to do them randomly. Don't make them all even or exact. All right, for now, that's good. All right, I'm going to blow dry this, so I shall speed it up. And there we go. It dries very, very fast especially when you put it on fast forward. Okay. All right, so now you can use any color you want for the roses. My favorite color is teal. So I'm gonna take my three quarter inch flat brush. You can use an angle brush for this if you want. And I am going to take teal and I'm going to do kind of like a circle a wavy circle in the middle of my cross. Okay, and I'm going to do I'm going to do two more. One on this side, a little bit smaller, and one on the other side. Again, a little bit smaller. And they're not exact per, exactly perfectly round circles. You can see there's like edges on it because that's going to be the edges of the rose and the rose is not going to be an exact circle. All right, so I'm washing off my brush. All right, so now I'm gonna take the same brush, the three quarter inch flat. I'm gonna double load I'm in, in white and in teal. Okay, I'm gonna put more teal than white. I would say three quarters to a quarter of white, three quarters teal, quarter white, and I'm just loading and loading and loading okay and we're going to do the center flower first all right so the white is going to be on the outside edge i'm going to start at the top i'm going to place my brush down i'm going to watch the edges the outside edges of what i'm painting i am going to keep this point of the brush where the the corner of the teal is i'm going to keep it in the same spot I'm going to apply a little bit of pressure and I'm going to wiggle it and then I'm going to lift it up. Not, I'm not crazy about how that blended. I'm going to blend it again. Do the same thing. There we go. I'm going to turn my project. I'm going to reload my brush the same way I just did. And I'm going to do it again. I'm going to lay this one right over the other one. Okay, same movement. 
again reloading I'll do this side here And the last one okay don't worry about the middle if you want you can kind of flatten that a little bit but we're gonna paint over that if you're not happy like I'm not with uh, any part of your rose I want to bring this out a little bit over here so I just paint over it reload the brush and I'm gonna bring it out just a little bit farther there we go and I actually might do that to the one next to it as well. That's what I like about ac acrylics. They are forgiving. There. Okay, and then I have the shape that I want. So now I'm going to work on the middle part. Take the same brush. I'm still loading. Teal, white. Okay, I'm going to go a little bit lower. I'm going to make the cup, the center cup of the rose, which I want to go that way. So what I'm going to do is make a U. Then I'm going to go the other way. An upside down U and then a regular U like that. Okay, and that will give you some depth. So you see the darkness in the center and the white around the edges. And I'm gonna go out, um, back over with a second coat of the outside of the cup right here. There you go. All right, I'm gonna continue with the same brush, still loading. And I'm going to create another layer of petals okay all right now I'm going to Cut right across the cup, laying down, bringing it up. And to give the uh, impression of more petals, I am going to do some C strokes right in here. So I'll pick up white on the corner of my brush where I was loading white before. And then I will lay the brush back just a little bit and pull some pull some little C strokes in there. So there we have one rose. Now I'm going to rinse out that brush and I'm going to take a smaller brush. This time I'm going to show you how to do it with an angled brush. Angled brushes are very easy to use when it comes to roses. Okay, um, now I don't know, in fact, I'm going to add a little bit more, hmm, do I want to or not? I might come back to it. Okay, so you have to decide what side is the white is going to go on and what side the darker color is going to go on. This is the toe, the short end is the heel. All right, so I'm going to show you. I'm going to put the light on the toe and I'm going to put the dark, the teal, on the heel the teal on the heel all right and i am going to needs more white okay it's the similar same stroke that we just did and i'm just going around the edge
I'm going to go over to the other side and do the same thing to the other rows. Okay. Now I'm going to do the center cup and I'm going to make it, hmm, so make it face upward. Cutting across the cup, doing little C strokes here and there. Okay. Why don't we do this too? Now I'll go over to the other rows on the opposite side, just loading up more paint. And again, I'm going to do a second coat on what's already here. Okay, turning my project. You always want to move your project where it's the most comfortable for you to paint so you get the best result. It does not have to stay facing you like this the whole time. If you have to spin it, spin it. Okay, so this uh, cup I'm going to put facing upward. Need a little bit more white on the tip. There we go. Upside down U, and then a U that's right side up. Go over it a little bit. And now I'll pull out some more petals. Okay, if you're enjoying this video, please feel free to give me a like. It'll help my little channel grow. I'll really appreciate that. And if you want, subscribe. I have all kinds of stuff coming up for 2023. One more here. Go 
over that cuff again and do my little C strokes to create petals. I'm just getting white on the corner of my brush. I'm leaning the brush back and I'm using the tip of the brush to do this. Okay, now I'm gonna rinse out my brush. I'm gonna use the same brush to make some leaves. So now I'm gonna pick up citrus green and thicket green. Okay, I'm going to put the thicket green on the heel and the citrus green on the toe. I'm going to also take a little bit of white to put on the toe along with the citrus green to make it a little brighter. Okay. You can make the leaves go any way you want. I'm going to have some going out like this and what I'm doing is I'm putting the heel down and the toe down I'm laying the brush pushing it just like halfway down I'm pulling it on an angle pushing and then lifting to a point and then you can pull a stem through all right it's pretty easy to do just keep practicing like anything else practice 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 okay I'm loading more paint a little bit more white. Now I'll put some on the other side. They don't have to be in the exact same place. Okay. Put stems. Put one where I feel they look good. Okay. Loading more paint again. Okay. Now I'll put some. And use your eye and you know wherever you feel that they look good just place them I'll put some coming out of here And then what I like to do is wrap a vine around the cross. So I'm going to take my two inch, uh, my number two script liner. Uh, I'm going to wet it, and I'm going to pick up a combination of those two colors: um, thicket green and citrus green. Okay, maybe a little white even to make it stand out. And I'm going to go around, put some more water in it so it's a little bit inkier. Twirl the brush around, pull, so it kind of comes to a point. And then I'm going to go around, say, I don't know, from here. And I'm going to go like it's going around the back, coming forward from here. And maybe go to here. So there we have. Oh, it looks like it's wrapping around the cross. 
I'm going to go with a little bit of a lighter green. I want it to show up more. So I'm just picking up citrus to go over what I just painted. Okay. That looks pretty. Now the other thing that you can do too is... I'm going to take a little dotting tool, or you can use the back of one of your small brushes right here to dot with. I'm going to dot the centers of my rows with white. You could use green, white, whatever color you want, or a combination. And just randomly put some dots. I start at the bottom of the cup, and then work up, because they get smaller as you dot. Oops, I got some water on here. Okay, and maybe I even want to put some other little um, flowers in here. Not sure what. Let's see. Why don't we do... I'm going to try something. I'm going to dot... I'm going to try to make it look like little pearls coming around. And perhaps around here as well. It's pretty. Okay, and if you want, you could even dot some little flowers here. So we're doing four little circles, and then we can put a little center in them. Looks like little tiny flowers. Or five little circles even probably look better. And this. Rinse off my dotting tool. Oops. I'm going to take a little tiny bit of yellow. I have moon yellow. I'm going to put it in the center of those little tiny flowers I just made. I'm just dotting. That's it. Boom. There, we have little tiny flowers. Okay. All right, so now what I'd like to do is pull some stems. So I'm going to go back to my three-quarter inch. Um, this three-quarter inch? Uh, no, I'm sorry, this is a... I can't read it anymore. Looks like one quarter. It's a quarter inch angle brush. And it's, uh, it's wet, damp. And, and I'm going to pull some little little stems, little like bits of greenery out from the roses and from the little flowers just to, to give it something added. I think the more you add, um, it looks pretty. You have to know when to stop, of course, but this is just a little, a little something extra. Now I'm going to take my detail brush. I think I got this on Wish.com. This is a nail detail brush. 
So it's for painting your fingernails with. But I like it because it's really super small and you can make really nice details with this brush. I'm going to take a little bit of teal and I'm going to sign my initials. And there you have it. Okay. So I wish you all a happy new year. I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, give me a like, subscribe, and keep my channel going. I have lots more to come. Bye, everybody.